Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on this adventure. This one is the Boulder Lake Reservoir. You'll see in this video that this area has a ton to offer. There's lots of recreational opportunities and we explore the area while having some great fires to go along with fantastic food and pretty good fishing. Although it would have been nice if they're a little bigger. Anyway, stick around, see what it's all about. My brother hey, taught me that if you can't this. stand in your kayak, you're not allowed to come with. <laughs> That's right. Google Translate because it's all in Korean, you know? Am I famous yet? <laughs> Only to our friends and family. Can't be responsible for another family dying. We just got scared by a duck. So we probably have. A nest here. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Alright. Oh. <laughs> I think what we did was better. You destroyed it. He just beat it to death. <laughs> really, it's really good. <laughs> it's part of why you buy a chainsaw. If I'm being honest, an electric chainsaw probably makes more sense for what I'm doing. But the fact that a chainsaw fits in a kayak, well, it's going to be productive. They were perfectly ripe a week ago. Yeah. And, and as soon as they hit that point, the birds got them off. Here's our camp. Mama Duck is back. I don't want to scare her though. I got Mets type spinner.
this slimer hit right next to the right next to the boat. Just a little guy. Oh, come on. There we go. Wasn't hooked too hard, so even though it was in there a ways, it wasn't too bad. Little pike. Hey, that's very good. Yeah, we'll use that up. Our dad will happy spoon it at the end. <laughs> Just the raw dough. We'll get the shot just like last year. <laughs> I caught a tiny northern. Chris caught a tiny walleye. But really that doesn't count. So fishing's nice, but catching would be better. It's a beautiful day. Nice walleye chop. So hopefully we'll start catching fish. So we're at the walk-in Bowdoin sites. It's pretty clear that these are significantly nicer than the other ones. Even the access trails and stuff, these are used way more. Plus there's a bathroom. Unzipped real low. I'm hot. Collar popped. Soaked from the bottom down from the lake. Definitely borderline Hey, do red potatoes cook faster than the russet potatoes in tinfoil like this? Oh, that's here. better when you have it. Most likely you and I are going to have a curry flavor and they're going to have a paprika and garlic salt flavor. If you think it is done, we wrap we it, we let it sit for just a bit to rest. thinking is if the end is done, I'd rather eat the good stuff and put the raw stuff back on it. That much. I essentially stuck it in like this, Chris. Like, held the stick. Every stick looks a lot better. Yeah. I... Mm -hmm. It was the first straight thing I saw. I went, ah, oh, oh, right. oh. <laughs> But last time I took the top layer off. I didn't, I wasn't sure this was a fish, so I think this is going to be another real small one. Probably a northern again, because that makes sense for where I'm fishing, especially finding the other ones. Oh! Okay, that one was a little nicer. It would have been nice to bring it in, but... Yeah, loosen up my drag, and I noticed that, but a little bit too late. The crappy thing is that that lure was working, <laughs> so so now I lost the lure. I was set up more for walleyes. I didn't have a leader on, so now I do. Should be in a little better shape if I catch another one. Pretty shallow here, you might be able to see the fish. Oh, that's a 
Another decent to small one. Yeah. This one's bigger than the other ones were, but still just a small pike. They're so skinny. I mean, this isn't that bad of a size, but so skinny. There's enough water coming in through here that the fish could really like it. But I think maybe just a little too shallow or maybe a little too cold. I set the hook, I didn't even feel anything, so I'm not sure this is a big one. Oh, actually, maybe it was just swimming towards me. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, this might be a decent fish. Oh, it's got me running. Ah, another small one. Just another small one, but... There we go. best thing about kayak fishing is sometimes even those fish that aren't that big can pull you around and okay now it's to the point where it's fun and I got to go tell the other guys because this one's a tiny one but it's six now yeah they're they're biting right now See what this one is. Yeah, another teeny tiny one. Still fun though. Still fun. <laughs> Down there. Yeah. Today, we're playing it a little safer, and even if the wind picks up, we don't have nearly as far to paddle, or if it changes directions on us, but either way, we're in for another good adventure. People look like they got a sweet view. Oh, we're that close? Huh? You committed, you'd have huh? a chance. Go jump, jump to the other How platform. slippery is it? Oh. <laughs> the one rock right there moved a little bit on me. The rest of them were pretty stable. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Well done, Blake. Put on the top water. Got one. It hit and missed. Ooh, this might be worth keeping. I don't think I want to lose this one, so I'm gonna try to play it out a little bit more. I think this one's a little nicer.
Yeah, this one's just a little bit nicer. Okay. Oh, ah, come on, fish. Ah. It's nice, and the hook came out. I'm a professional at that kind of stuff. Fish curry, right, Blake? You got it all tangled up? Here, you take this one. So you just cut, <laughs> just the, cut it. The bad Here you spot go. Out and you tie your um, lindy or whatever. Sure. Cutting a lot of it in. And there you go. Beautiful. Good luck. <laughs> Ooh, that's one. That's one that's just like mine here. It's really fun catching him on the top water. So this would be great. Yeah. I mean, even when I didn't have him, but you just okay. So Blake did catch a fish. Look. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take out the spreader. Shove it through Go his in. lip right here. Like this? Yeah. I mean, it won't really matter too much, but. Yeah. I didn't see him yet. Seemed like he was coming to you too easy. Ooh. He's not bad size. I'm. I mean, I keep this one for you then. That's the plan, right? Yep. If it's decent size. Whoa. Um, I would not keep this one. That one hit harder than most of them have hit. We got rained on this morning, but just just drizzling when we were out of our tents, and now we're we're off. It's a little bit gloomy, and it's we're in for this area is gonna get rain eight out of the next ten days, so we hit a spectacular weather window. Load it up. We're ready to go. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see some more. And remember, life is an adventure, so get out and live.